Hello. Hi. I am Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So today I want to talk to you about uh, the, a little bit about the experience of being a Blu-ray. Who are the Blu-rays? I want to start to answer some of the questions that are flying around out there. This is going to become something much more prevalent where people are aware that they're from somewhere. Just to make it simple, hey, I'm from somewhere. I can feel it. I can sense it. I'm having experiences. And this is going to be a part of how they wake up. For you, it might be a, a little bit in reverse where you wake up and the search goes on and it might have taken you a while. It's taken all of us time in linear time and in quantum leaps to get to this point. So today I'm going to talk to you about the Blu-ray and about some of the other illumined angelics. So Blu-ray people are human angelics and we are the original source love beings. We have the highest capacity to hold the vibration of love and when I say the highest capacity it's highest and it's broadest as well. We have a very broad scope that we're able to keep connected to ourselves. And I'll talk about that in a little bit here. Um, we are what is called Orphim. That is the name of the angelic we are. And we're evolving. We are, we are evolving just along with everything else. We are improving. We are elevating. You know, it, it's, it's our form. We are always who we are, but the form that we create, it's like is, it has more bells and whistles. It's like comparing a car from 1898 to the most futuristic type of vehicle with, you know, things that just, parts that just do things. We have been everywhere and experienced everything. By now, if you are an illumined blue golden uh, rod and staff couple, you have been everywhere, experienced everything, even for a microsecond. And for some people, they keep re-experiencing and re-experiencing and re-experiencing. We have our favorites. Angels have our favorites. You know, my favorite might be black licorice and someone else's favorite might be red licorice. We have tastes. We have very discerning tastes. We have very particular ways about us. And this is why this is no longer a cookie cutter thing. In a human way, you can be cookie cutter. But the human angelic will up and leave, up and do something else, want to try something. This has also been uh, part of the struggle of the indigo Blu-ray person, the people who are the indigos, to let go of things, to literally stop touching it, stop provoking it, stop tasting it, licking it, you know, doing other things. Just stop, you know, let it go for a minute so that you can be new. Illumined angelics, illumined means that we have lit up and we have done this through several resurrections in several planetary paradigms. This is extremely important and those of you who identify by feeling yourself that you are illumined, that in a nutshell means that you have come through several planetary paradigms to be here. You're here to pick up templates to be able to go back out again. So that's a big part of the reason of why would we incarnate on Earth? Why would we come in to this density? Ah, there are reasons for it, very good reasons. Now, I want to talk to you about the other illumins, the other people, people that identify as seraphim or ophanim. It's pronounced ophanim. And all of those people, you are the firstborn. You are the firstborn progeny of the Blu ray source love beings. In other words, the love he has created again. 
and it's created other angels. And those angels are Seraphim, Orphim. There are others who haven't incarnated yet. I actually don't have all the names. It, you know, some of this is still coming as I elevate. And I'm sharing here. And I want to let you know we're very proud of you. Very, very, very proud of you. If you're a Blu-ray, be proud of yourself. Honor yourself for all of the situations you've gotten through. It's extremely important. You're not here as a misfit. This is actually not our true uh, way of living or where we really live. However, we are living here. And there's several things all going on. It's getting along with each other. It's bringing harmony to things. It is fixing systems of things that have gone awry out in the universe, out in the cosmos. So who are the Seraphim and the Ophanum? And these are the people that sometimes they'll feel colors. They will feel themselves. They will feel visited by certain other angels. Uh, some of the color identifications of what are they expressing from their soul are purple, green, pink, orange, and gold. Now, of course, the blue has everything in it. So I made this little diagram here. Um, source love and the ray that we are comes into other dimensions. It is a helix or a spiral. It's an energy that twines and goes like this and will twine and come into lower levels. The blue ray overlights everything here. From the blue, we can, most blue rays express either red, green, or yellow. And red people, I tend to call those people uh, God's entertainers. The green people are usually the healed healers and sometimes the healed warriors. And the yellow is connected to being a healed warrior as well. But these are the prime impulses from source. It is in the high 10th dimension that the firstborn were created. And, and I feel this. This is, this is the way I'm feeling it. I've remembered. I have had the experiences, the past life experiences that have um, had me re-experience this. Now, all of the children are, I'm going to say children loosely. When I say children herein, I am referring to people that are seraphim, people that are ophanim, and then coming up, cherubim and elohim. And I know that there's people that identify with Elohim. Many of those are your protectors. They're protector angels. Only some progeny are illumined. Now, this is not to diminish anyone. The direction we are going, and there is only one direction, is for everyone to become illumined. But it's n not entirely necessary to go back to some place where things have fallen apart. So, for example, if you wanted to learn um, French, would you go back to France during world, right after World War II, after Paris had been bombed out and occupied? Or would you go to a light and lovely class where you're relatively safe? You're in a big city, but you're relatively safe and you can care for your needs. And that's what we're doing here on Earth. We are making this not only a healing place, a school. Earth is the gateway. The new Earth is actually the gateway, the new central star of the fifth dimension. It previously had been located in the Pallades. And things happened. Things happened. I'm not going to dwell on it. I have a message that I put on my chest here. On my shirt. Keep calm. The blue rays are on it. I don't know if you can see that. Keep calm. The blue rays are on it. The blue ray people and yes, gradually our children are having solutions. 
are rewriting things, reweaving things, coming up with the innovations, the inspirations. The original Blu-ray and the blue who have the blue and golden. And when I feel people's energy, that's how I feel. Is, is their energy and they talk about themselves, their vibration translates as a color to me. That's the resonance of my crystal body. That is a, a gift that I have honed very much. And I can feel if someone has connections to the new earth. That's how I distinguish it. If I feel that they even have a foothold there, I'm going to feel it. I'm going to feel it. If I feel they have a home there or they've come from there to be of assistance here, I feel blue golden. Do you know who you are? And not all of us knew who we are. Who knew 20 years ago? Who knew 30 years ago? And all of us are starting somewhere. Whether you're Tony Robbins or you're Eckhart Tolle or um, Diane, Doreen Virtue or um, Doris, uh, oh gosh, I forgot her name, Doris um, Cannon, who thought um, knew about these three waves of angelics. And, and there are people that were early on with this information. It was considered very esoteric at the time you know maybe a bit oddball I mean I I grew up in the 60s I lived through some stuff and you know there were people that were considered freaks or health nuts because they ate healthy and now it's sort of the opposite you're sort of considered a bit strange if you don't eat healthy or at least eat something healthy so I don't want to get off on a tangent here though the original blu-ray and the blue golden are what is called the I refer to them in a very simple manner as the mommy and daddy twin flame couples and even though this is I'm saying mommy and daddy this can actually be be in the human way it can be two people of the same gender so it can be actually two mommies two daddies or a mommy and a daddy and it's important. The importance of gay people is going to be felt more and more prominently. Gay twin flames do exist. Gay and lesbian and transgender. And the importance of them are going to come into play for these children. The Seraphim and the Ophanum. They're also referred to as the Rod and Staff Unions. And these exact words are actually mentioned in ancient scriptures. So I'm not making this up. These are actual uh, words. But think of a rod and staff as like a piece of music where you have the lines and you have the clefts there. That's the rod and staff that tell you where the notes are. These couples have their energies like a pillar. And on each part of the pillar is a connection to a level or dimension and the dimensionary the levels of whatever places, planets, etc. They have the connections from here to the new earth. They are living bridges and to source love. Now here lies the difference right now is that some twin flames have the ability because we are from source to go directly back to source. What would good parents do? bequeath to their children the ability to do the same thing. We're not here to hold out. We are here to teach, elevate, heal, and love everyone into having everything. So if you take someone who is, um, say, I'm calling myself a Blu-ray and I meet someone else and I say, oh, you're this or that, there's no diminishment there. It's that they're here in a place where they're going to continue expanding. Why? It's no different than your parent where you can say, well, I have this from my parent, I have that from my parent, I have that parent. I have blue eyes and I have this color here and I have this height. And yeah, maybe it's a roll of the dice. You don't know what you're going to get. But for angelics, it is always pulling out the best of you. It's digging within and getting those gifts home, getting those things done. It's like if someone gave you a gift of a bicycle, you could let it sit in the room and stare at it with its pretty ribbon on it. Or you could get on it and go out, ride, feel the wind in your hair, 
go racing with it. You could do tricks with it. And this is, this is what we're encouraging everyone to do. Get good at your light body. That's what you came here for. You're going to light it up even more when you're together. Expect to be together. The month of October, and actually September into October, we're right on the cusp here. It's going to be like Valentine's Day, where people just suddenly keep coming together. The twin you thought would never reach out reaches out to you. You, the important thing is not to figure it out with your head. Stay in your heart and please trust that when you stay in your heart, keep calm because the blue rays are on it. We have a vested interest in seeing that our children, our progeny, are well cared for and are back in love. A lot of things have happened to our children. Um... The planetary connections that you have on the inside of your body are important. This is why I will say again and again and again and again. Let go of the soulmate so you don't have to unravel stuff and purge it back out again, especially if you've done a lot of work. And keep expecting your twin. Do the things you need to do. Now, um, some of what the... Uh, red Ray does, the red teaches and heals through entertainment. You know, so this is going to be people that, you know, might be sitting someplace or living with their parents or living in a situation that's less than ideal, and they have a famous twin flame. And that famous twin flame might appear that they've had everything. However, they've created the proper platform. And I've said that, that part before. Your twin is not doing nothing for you. This is a two-way street. And it requires both of you to hold steady for each other. And it's getting past the point of whatever they're doing in 3D. Whatever they're doing in their physical life will begin to feel more and more fleeting and illusory. Also, I want to mention about the Seraphim, the Seraphim and the Ophanum. You will um, have your 5D and 6D connections. You will have 5D, so this is 5D and 6D connections. Now, what is 5D? 5D is where the physical living in your body. 60 is um, your creative dream time. And this is where you are your real you. These are those dreams that you have that are very lucid and feel more like your life than this life. That's it. You're in 6D. Um, it's also the dream time where you become illumined. So if you don't feel that you're an illumined angelic, I'm going to say this right now. Get to bed early. <laughs> I hope I don't sound like too much like the mama, but honestly, it helps. You get to bed early. If you get woken up at night, wake up and don't worry. Don't spin things around in your head and say, well, tomorrow I have to send that thing. I wonder if that email came. I wonder why I'm woken up. Get still. Get still. Breathe and get calm. Keep calm because the blue rays are on it. How are you going to be assisted? How are you going to be? You have to focus on your union. You focus on the love that you are. You're not being woken up to be tormented. If you're woken up and you're feeling like you're getting pushed, pummeled, I mean, we're honestly in a patch right now that's retrograde, eclipse coming up, it's the season is going to change, get up and just move around, dissipate it. That's all you got to do. Go back to bed, get still, and get calm. Still means still your mind. Don't think of things. Don't think of your next day. Don't think of anything that isn't your real life. Recall your twin flame. And some of you might be laying next to a spouse. Do it anyway. 
do it anyway because those restless nights do are significant for your continued growth this is going on 24 7. there are people saying to you uh to don't focus don't believe it for a minute focus on your twin they need you that's how you magnetize that is the law of attraction in the new so the the red ray is um, a lot of people that sing dance entertain even teaching certain ways of teaching can be entertaining and it is the people who've been singing their love to each other across the miles it's the lyrics it's those words that speak volumes but it's more than that it is the heart and the voice carrying the emotion of it they're actually telling each other things however some of us can feel it if you feel it in your heart that is a message for you now the other thing I want to let you know is that you know some people who are rod and staff unions you may or may not be aware of it but what you are aware of is a lot of strange stuff that happens in your life usually from childhood it will be you having remembrances of past lives near-death experiences strange illnesses that seem to evaporate and heal themselves situations um, visitations from higher beings uh, whether you call them angels or ascended masters and those will cease for you because you are gearing up here to be your own best guide ever ever because your column of energy goes all the way to source love and the rod and staff people will usually be able to manifest what they need people who are rod and staff unions already have a connection to the new earth even if you've forgotten it and some of the seraphim and ophanum have connections to the new earth some of you are simply here to wrap up your karma don't keep swimming in it it's like swimming in polluted water it's like secondhand smoke clinging to your organs get rid of it now I want to encourage you that um, I had a message ways back years ago and this was it and I keep this on my mirror our kids need angels like you and I keep this right right there where I can see it as a reminder that what we are doing here is we are gifting each other all the new light body if you are a blu-ray especially if you are a rod and staff union there's been a lot of people have catching a court case having to go back to elderly parents somehow some way you also should be doing the maintenance in your grid and your grid is usually a larger geographical area sometimes with several spots on the planet that you're wishing all together and pulling up into your beautiful col column of light not letting everyone ride on your heart that was the message I did last year when I talked about cracking open the heart for the hundredth time things are going to still fall out of your heart what you're keeping is everything that you love what you're gathering near you is everyone that you love even if you feel like you're in isolation right now if you have people where there's been dissension your union will not tolerate the disharmony or dissension you will at the very least energetically mend that fence instead of vilifying people calling them names or you know somehow going uh uh and you're all up in your head about it the simple wish in your heart to make it better you may not know how that's going to play out all you want it to do is change and be better you have to make it that simple because there is a higher hand at work here and things aren't happening to annoy you things doors will be closing that was what we were doing with the Lionsgate at the beginning of August 
August 2nd was a doozy. That new moon, whoo! And the lion's gate was specifically for closing the door. It's time to get good at your own body. It's time to stop calling everything ascension symptoms and start learning about your body and uh, really working with yourself, honing your own gifts and skills. Because those things that are trying to push out that you're purging and you're uh, maybe upset about it, naturally you're upset. It's uncomfortable. It's painful. Nobody wants to keep doing this. But you're the only one who can. And it doesn't all have to be work. Once you kind of get your channels open and you start addressing things, and if you do not know how, there is help here. Reach out for the help. There are very, very, very good people where all of the connections are in place to be able to assist you. I'm one of them. And it always starts with your heart. It starts with feeling what's appropriate. What's appropriate. And a lot of us do know good behaviors from bad behaviors. Even when we even when we want to be bad, we kind of know. We know the difference, just like we know bad foods. Oh, that sure looks good, but I know it'll be bad for me. Okay, some of this stuff is not going to continue being a deal killer, though. And it's through your body. Now, if I have uh, given you quite a bit of information here about who you are, okay, and why the differences, why does it seem like some people know stuff or have stuff and other people just, they're starting to get lost in it. These are the reasons. For some of you, it amounts to being a child in the back of a vehicle and allowing your parent to drive. Uh, we've been allowing the mommy and daddy twin flame couples to do the driving. And we don't drive, like I don't drive in my physical way. The driving is up here in another level, going, Ooh, let's just move you over. Doo -doo, doo -doo. And some people are asleep while this is happening, and others are like going, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there, are we th are we there yet? And simmer down, keep calm, because it is through your body. You are getting elevated to another place, but so are the other people around you. It's going to be people at your workplace. It's going to be people at the grocery store. It's going to be people at the, the coffee place you love. It's going to be people at the park or public events. That is what the grid work is, is that we who are the Rod and Staff Blu-ray Twin Flames have gone around to various places with the uh, uh, direction of lift it up a little bit so that it's more in alignment, it is light and lovely, and it's at the very least harmonious. You're not going to be best friends with everyone. That's just not possible here in these separate bodies. But you don't have to feel like everything is attacking you or, or making you feel uncomfortable. There are ways for you not to feel overly sensitive. Some of the ways are um, things that I've explained in my earlier webinars, especially the one that is called the Angel, the New Light Body in Transition. That gets your energies elevated so that you don't feel things in this. You don't feel them affect you the same way. Now, if all of this information about the rays and who you are, what is the ray? The ray is like, oh, here it is. Okay. So the ray, when we're in source, like this. But as we have unfolded our DNA and explored who we are, our ray travels through and twines, and at every meeting point, you know, this is one of our infinity symbols. We twine ourselves and we keep, we keep doing this. Little by little, we form the solid form that we're going to occupy in a physical environment. And we have had different types of bodies in our history. I'm not going to talk about that now. But suffice it to say, we have taken the best of the best of the best and packed it in these bodies and 
Some of you are still exploring. Some people are going to wake up, cut them some slack. I've had people that I talked to where they just become aware of this like several months ago. And there's other people who've been like, really? I've been doing this for 30 years. And you might feel like you're an old hand at some things, but you might find out it's still time to become new. So if you like all of this information, I have much more detail on all of the colors in my webinar from December of 2015 called the entire rainbow spectrum of the race because there really is a rainbow and there really is a spectrum. Everyone here is bringing something to the table. You're doing this for yourself. I'm going to say two more things. A lot of people will say, I want to help humanity, but I don't know how. And, okay, but now, who's going to help the human angels? Okay, gear yourself up so that you're able to help the human angels that are either going to be born or start waking up. And Mother Earth is here, but Mother and Father Earth is here in 5D. That's the direction we're going. There are both, both the masculine and the feminine. And more and more men and masculine people are coming into their awarenesses of what is this? What's going on? Why has God closed certain doors? Why am I feeling this on my body? Why did I have that experience with this people, with this person? And some of some of you are having this experience of like, do, 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 do. <gasps> And then I met this man or and then I met this woman and my entire life changed overnight. Everything just started changing on me. And that happens and that really throws people off. So my webinar talks about this in much more detail. There is if you feel that you are a Blu-ray and you haven't gotten one, get this one because this has lots of Blu-ray specific information in here. If you feel like you're a seraphim and you may want to know more about this, get it, try it, because this is what you're walking into. You are continuing on your evolution as our progeny. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you like these updates, please subscribe. I really appreciate everyone who has bought my webinars. Thank you so much. I've gotten a lot of great feedback that they help you, and I do my best to um, pack everything that happens in sessions into a very concise uh, product here. So thank you very much. Enjoy your week. Remember, keep calm. The Blu-rays are on it. Bye now.